So Antonio Flowers, former guard for the Pierce College Brahmas, who just recently committed to become a Hawaii warrior for the University of Hawaii. So why did you choose University of Hawaii? Uh, I chose University of Hawaii for the uh, great facilities. Uh, I could come in and play, compete for a job right away. They had uh, seven offensive linemen in the spring game, so I could feel like I could come in and compete, you know, and uh, they believed in me, so, and it's a beautiful place, so I, I really am looking forward to it. Yeah. Now, I remember about six months ago when we last talked, you had a bunch of different offers from various small schools, mm -hmm. but you kept thinking to yourself, that you know, there's going to be a bigger offer that's going to come along. When did University of Hawaii pop up, and uh, how did the coach approach you? Uh, you know, I just stayed patient. I believed in myself. Uh, I kept faith in God. I kept faith in myself, and I kept prayer every day, every night. And, uh, Hawaii came about uh, about a month ago. Um, actually, they reached out to me on Twitter. And uh, I made first contact with them, and um, you know it's just long story short. I ended up with an offer two weeks later, and I verbally committed over the phone. So. What was the biggest thing that you learned during your time here at Pierce College? Uh, never give up, no matter how hard things can be. Always keep faith in yourself and believe in uh, God, and just pray that everything's uh, work out, no matter how long it takes or whatever you're going through. Just keep. You know, keep moving forward. Never, uh, never give up. Basically, never give up. Now, about two years ago, when you first came to Pierce College, you were very, very big with a lot of potential. But sometimes, during during the workouts, you'd be a little bit out of shape and not with the other guys. Yeah. But since those two years have passed, you have really developed into being one of the older brothers for this program. Talk about that. Um, you know, I just. Uh, so you got to get your mind right mentally. This football is a game that you have to be mentally prepared to endure the hard times, uh, workouts, or football practice and the games and stuff like that. So, you know, mentally you have to be there. And, uh, you know, I just, um, from all the things that I've been through here, I just um, wanted to use those obstacles to help others around me and um, teach others um, how to get forward. This, uh, struggle out here Pierce. Now you were a kid from North Carolina who all of a sudden came to the palm trees of Los Angeles and now you're about to hit the big kahuna in Hawaii. Put that in perspective of what of what the journey has been like going from that kid, that new kid on the block with all the potential to now going to an even newer place, a team with a very history his, his historic program and a team that has won in the past? Well, you know, i got to stay humble, keep working hard, and always move my best foot forward and uh, keep faith in God and myself and just keep working hard, you know, and, um, and I'll be okay. Um, you know, going from North Carolina to California, I still couldn't believe I'm out here, to be honest, because I'm from a small town. Um, and still going to Hawaii, I just, I try not to think about it, but, you know, it's a blessing from God. You know, he, he never left my side. He, he stayed with me. Now, in terms of the coaching staff, there's been a lot of coaches with Division One experience, with pro experience here at Pierce College. Which coach has meant the most to you in terms of your development? Um... I love Coach Sabalik, I love Coach Hoffman, those guys. Uh, Coach Martinez as well. Um, Coach Greenwood, who was the D coordinator here a couple years back, he he really, really had an impact on me when he was out here. Um, you know, those those three, those, those four coaches really stayed in my head and uh, they always, Know, believed in me. I just had to, you know, believe in myself and do the right things and uh, keep working hard. Now, last question: What is the what is a word of advice that you say to all your family and your friends that may be living in your small town in North Carolina who are looking to become successful, whether it's in sports or another or another varieties of life? 
Uh, no matter how long it takes, I know things may be bad today, tomorrow, next week, but you can't just give up. Um, it took me a while to get where I am, and um, I still have things to do to get where I want to go. And um, you know, I, just just keep faith. You know, faith is in the power of the small of a mustard seed, as in the Bible says. So you just you know have to believe in yourself, no matter how long it takes. Just always. Always keep fighting and never give up. That is Tone, the man from North Carolina, now a Brahma, used to be a Brahma, now a warrior. Anything you want to say to the Hawaii warrior fans as you make your way out to Honolulu very soon? No sacks allowed.